I think you would agree that not everyone goes in for sports like soccer, volleyball or ice hockey. A lot of people don't get the idea to kick the ball back and forth in general. In this video, we've selected a range of unusual kinds of sports, there are even official competitions. So get comfortable and we'll find out now how people play underwater hockey, throw a ball over the net while jumping on a trampoline and get a monetary reward for doing belly flops. Botaoshi, which literally translates as knock down a pole, is Japanese sport, the history of which began as early as in the mid 20th century. This game was originally created specifically for the National Defense Academy of Japan. The goal of establishing the game was to foster students' will to win and teach them how to attack quickly. There is an opinion that creation of this sport was related to the riots in Japan to prepare cadets for that morally and physically. The game is particularly popular at the National Defense Academy of Japan to this day. Every November, on the day the educational institution was created, the academy held Botaoshi competitions in which teams of 150 people each take part. The game involves two teams whose members are split into defenders and attackers. The goal of attackers is to knock down the opponent's pole and the goal of defenders is to prevent them from doing it. There is also a player called Ninja that is located on the top of the pole and tilts it to the opposite side if the opponent manages to tilt it a little bit. A team is considered a winner if it manages to tilt the pole by 30 degrees. Underwater Hockey It is also known as Octopus in its homeland. Underwater hockey originated in England in 1954. Back then, Alan Blake, the owner of South Sea, a sub-aqua club, invented this sport activity for members of the club so that they could also play sports in the winter in the pool. And now, this sport is included in the World Confederation of Underwater Activities. The first championship for men was held in 1980. The first women championship was held in Canada in 1984. Don't be surprised, but octopus competitions were also held in Russia with the first one in 2010. Two teams of up to 10 players compete, with a 6 players max in each team in play. The remaining 4 players are substitutes. Participants must have a breathing tube, hat, mask, flippers and gloves. The objective of the game is to throw the puck using a hockey stick to move it along the bottom of the pool. There are two referees in the pool that also wear diving equipment and one on the surface. There is also a more extreme form of underwater hockey, under ice hockey. This game is played in a frozen pool. Belly flop. From the outside, it seems to be the most entertaining sport in which participants dive into water from a great height with their stomach hitting the water first. As you can guess, this is one of the most dangerous. The objective of a sportsman is to jump as beautifully as possible and talk at the last moment to hit the water in the most painless way. Judges also look at the flight time. The longer a person stays in the air while not being talked, the higher are the chances of winning. Nonetheless, it's not an easy task to do, that's why injuries are a common thing in this sport. There are quite a lot of reckless people here. One can get a large prize for winning a competition. That's why so many are willing to take a risk. Besides participants, a lot of viewers come to watch it because the event is actually entertaining and spectacular. Bossable is a team Belgian game combining several sports at once – capoeira, beach volleyball, acrobatics, soccer, even aerial acrobatics and tricks on a trampoline. It was conceptualized in 2002-2004 by Belgian Philip Aikmans, who lived in Spain. When he was a boy, he was dreaming of becoming a soccer player. His parents wanted him to play volleyball. In order to find a compromise, Aikmans created Bossable. The first tournament with 16 teams in it took place in Belgium in 2004. The possible game is played by two teams of 3 to 5 players. The principle is similar to volleyball. Participants throw the ball over the net, but it takes place on an inflatable trampoline, the height of jumping on which reaches 3 meters. To win, players must demonstrate acrobatics magic and use not only volleyball, but also soccer skills. Both of them are important since the point system is rather unusual. Volleyball techniques have one value and soccer ones have another. 
You can also earn extra points hitting the ball with something other than your hand. Uh, the slogan of Boss Ball is music and sports, so all games are accompanied by music. The person responsible for music is a referee. In fact, a referee in this game is a DJ as well. There are competitions in the history of this game that are considered to be the most extreme. They took place in Austrian snowy mountains at the height of 2000 meters. Boss Ball has headquarters in Spain and Belgium. There are also Boss Ball teams in Spain, Netherlands, Germany, Portugal. Portugal, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. Quidditch! Shout out to all Harry Potter fans. Yes, my friends, it's not necessary to go to Hogwarts to take part in the Wizards game. And by the way, even Muggles are allowed to participate. The rules are almost the same as in the Harry Potter universe, except sportsmen don't fly on broomstick but run with them. However, in response to the recent conflict with Joan Rowling, the author of the books about Harry Potter, the game is planned to be renamed. This sport was brought to life in 2005 in Middlebury College, Vermont. It was created by Xander Manchel and Alex Benepe, who later became the first commissioners of Quidditch. After 10 editions of rulebooks, Quidditch became a separate kind of sport. It has grown so much since its founding in 2005 that the first Quidditch World Cup was held in 2007, where Middlebury received the status of the best team. From then until 2014, the United States hosted an annual Quidditch World Cup where students and public teams competed to the best. Guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and share other unusual sports in the comments.